What's going on guys, this is the Dark Viewer here, and we are here at Barcelona, believe it or not, we're actually going to be doing another tier list, and thank god I found something like this, because this is like canon and non-canon visible pics of uh, the tier list for people in Dragon Ball, and it's just all like the important ones we think, because good god, there are some out there that are like, I kid you not guys, there are like some out there that are just like, Every single character. No. Uh, I mean, no, if you're gonna, I mean, if you're gonna start ranking not only just like the main characters, but also the supporting cast and all the, you know, the people that were just there for like one episode. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of uh, people to tier. Yeah, right. I'm kidding. So yeah, so here we go, guys. We are gonna start us off. So to get this tier list started, we have the god tier or amazing characters. You have great characters. You have good characters. Forgetful, or just, we just don't care. Or, like. Well, probably average. You know what? Let's actually let's let's change that up. Uh, can I have you uh, like do the typing because I can't reach that? So right, no just worries. Type in, just see. type in like average. Yeah. Let me capitalize that one. Let's go ahead. Average. All right. Yeah, okay. So there we go. Then we have bad characters. Mm -hmm. There's ones that are like a mistake or should never been or they're in the trash. <laughs> oh get, yeah. And it gets starts off. You guys are gonna, a lot of people are gonna hate for this. She is going in there. Really? Get her out of here. Really? Yeah. I mean, she's okay, Oh but my gosh. Yeah. Her character, I cannot stand. I literally cannot stand, guys. It's, she's basically a mm -hmm. broly wannabe. And not such a nice, she has like, oh no, like, like, like subtle little sister complex for with, with Khalifa. I was like, <laughs> uh, what, yeah. like, what's going on here? I mean, for yeah. this universe, uh, universe six, was it? That's yeah. The this one? Yeah, it's universe yeah, six. Yeah, so for universe six, yeah, pretty much for universe six, they're almost like, they're pretty much a reflection of universe seven. So they'll have characters who might look alike and maybe was their powers looking alike. So for her being, as you said, a broly wannabe, yeah. I mean, she does have that amazing power, but I think because she, you know, she is nervous and hesitant and, you know, um, her sister is there to back her up most of the time, because of that, she doesn't have that, like, maybe the independence that she needs to basically fight on. Because Broly, yes, even though he's pretty much a wild, raging wreck, he is still in control of the battlefield yes. regardless. Exactly. <laughs> and, just, and just to, and just to get this out of this way, guys, we all, we all kind of discussed this a little bit, so oh boy. Let's, get the, let's get this out, out of the way. This bastard is going in the trash. Yeah. Get him out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah I agree. I mean, I mean yeah, when he was introduced, he was interesting, but then when we learned his backstory and stuff, it's like, uh, how many times have we seen this? Uh, every time. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, the difference between him and characters like Saitama, it's, you know, Saitama is actually more entertaining because he's not actually trying to fight people. He's just trying to do his job and actually go to the store. But Jiren? It's, Jiren is like he's the like pro a, the problem I have with him is that he's we barely know him. Uh -huh. He's so OP. It was basically made for Goku to surpass. Exactly. And that he's three OP characters in one. He's Superman. He's Saitama. He is Hulk. How many more power does this guy need? I mean, yeah, you got one from you got pretty much a combination from one character from DC, another from an anime, and then another from Marvel. What else can you add? Yeah, exactly. But I mean, yes, the way they introduced him and the way he like presented his fighting against Goku and the other competitors in the tournament of power. It is amazing, but you know, at the last few episodes when they were showing a bit about his backstory, it was a bit of a letdown. So, exactly. I mean, exactly. if they if they like expanded, I mean, I don't know about their budget wise or, you know, with the animation, but if they maybe spent a few more episodes and they could, maybe could have spent more time to make a a better backstory for Jiren. That way, he's more memorable and maybe he would be almost like an A or S rank at least. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, exactly. but right now, there. <laughs> what? What are we getting next? Uh, Who is it? Who is it? Overall, oh yeah. Oh so. yes. So, who likes Sailor Moon? I mean, we're assuming it's you. No. no just let's kidding. let's take let's take a moment to reflect on. Uh, let me just cut away to show you guys what. Who uh, gives the best idea for the power of love in this? With the two of us, our love can conquer anything. Stop! <laughs> Uh, the power of love is bullshit. Power of swords and violence. That's where the money is. Yep, so. <sighs> it's going to the trash. Oh, yeah. Let's just get her out of here. Not to be offensive in any way, but it's just the way this character is presented, that's what most of us are assuming. I mean, 
All right, so now, guys, we got that out of the way. Let's get into the rest of the characters. Okay. Start things off. We have uh, oh, my boy. Dragon Ball Super Gohan. Uh, you have so much potential. A, a lot, a lot of Gohan fans are probably gonna hate me for this. Me included. You're bad. Yeah. Oh no. I, I'm. He, like, I'm sorry, guys. Just think about this. You had, you have Ultimate Gohan. You have Super Saiyan Gohan. Super and Saiyan you two. have Super Saiyan Two. Like, why didn't you use any of them in the Tournament of Power? Like, except, except, like, your one win is the game rid of Bugs Bunny in that in that Tournament of Power. I mean, at least in the I mean, manga. you were, you were, you were nowhere to be seen in the manga. You were shit in the Frieza saga, and you were like barely in the rest. Like, you did nothing to do in the, uh, in the uh, Goku Black arc. So. I'm sorry, this Gohan's potential was wasted. I mean, at, least, at well, least in the manga, uh, in the manga for this, which came out way later in, the, in this anime, he actually took out uh, Califa. So at least there's that, but yeah. still, so they next, shit on him. So, I'm now, so, so now we're going to pass it off to one of my uh, friends here, so you guys can take care of the mm -hmm. next one, and we're going to go from top mm -hmm. to bottom. So mm -hmm. next one, mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. pass off to Nick. Your job is to look at, what do you think Android 13 Go. Oh, Andrew 13. Uh, okay, so I'm just trying to recall a bit from the movie. So, 13, and there was also 14 and 15, 15 right? Yeah. yeah, so basically, I was a bit confused maybe about that movie because all I knew recall is like, oh, androids are fighting somewhere in the icy area against the main people that we know. Which is already a bad idea because why fight in a place that's already melting? <laughs> <laughs> to make it to make the action more dramatic. Yeah, but still, like, just imagine. But anyways, what, what, do you, what, do you think should, what do you think should go? I mean, I don't really know a lot about Android 13, besides from Dr. Jiro basically yeah. creating these androids to specifically maybe take down Goku and anyone else in the game of the way. So I would say, I would say he's average because, you know, he, he has like, you know, good fighting thing, but, you know, if we get to know more about him and the other androids, like we've learned with 16, 17, and 18, maybe he could be better, but Agreed. I would say yeah, average. His, his, his design was cool, especially when he went like, like Super big, big buff. He's smurf mode. He, he, he honestly was like, you only like cool, like, yeah, look at my trucker hat. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, let's he, he's give him average average average. I mean, He's fine. Mm -hmm. Android 16. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. this I is so really, I think he's a good character. He's I think sad. he really is. He's like his, okay, he, he developed so much, you know, just once, like, this, technically two sagas, because they were Cell and Cell games, you know, but he grew. He didn't, he oh, wanted to kill Goku and give yourself some cookies. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so, he grew, you know. He decided, you know, instead of killing Goku, he wanted to preserve nature. Mm -hmm. And he even tried to kill Cell with him. Like, he tried to blow himself up, but he failed. And when he died, that's what triggered Team Gohan to go Super Saiyan 2. Mm -hmm. You know, so... So, he, yeah, hopefully Dragon Ball Super uh, sees his potential. And hopefully we can see him, like, in a uh, story. Exactly. But, Android 17 from Dragon Ball Super. I God tier... M Mr. MVP. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was <laughs> for the last episode. It was surprising. <laughs> who who, who would thunk it? Who would I thunk know. That? Who would thunk that? I think it's just maybe. I, I could be wrong, but maybe it's just come to show that if we manage to create androids eventually in the future, they would. They could be the last people standing. Who knows? Oh, well, and Android that's... 17 might be an example of that. Exactly. As, and that's a good thing. I'm just saying. And that, the thing about Twin Power is that we thought, oh, it's Goku's gonna win. He's gonna be the last one standing. No, it was third. Uh, 17. 17. And it so, was funny, and he used his last wish, kind of cliche, but he still used it to say to like bring all the other plants back. And then he decided, you know what, I'm gonna go back to that kinda, that kinda take goes, care of the. kind of goes animals. back to his uh, to his actual character in the series. Like he's a nature reserve, and he's like he's preserving all life, which exactly. is nice. That was nice. And it was 17 for Dragon Ball uh, Z, though. He's average. I think he's okay. He's, I think he's he was good for what he was, but yeah, he was kind of average. Uh, I say put him in average. What do you say, Nikki boy? Uh, I would. S I mean, I would say maybe average because you know the way. Because when we got to get to know not only Doctor Shiro, who then was uh, completely then annihilated by both seventeen and eighteen, we basically got to know eighteen, uh, seventeen, and eighteen basically as you know a couple of androids who are going to kill Goku and the gang. Mm -hmm. So. Until, like, and then when Cell came by, that's when we started to get to know more about all the androids. But right. for 17, we... S I still see him as, you know, like, when he was in Dragon Ball Z, as more like an android who just wants to be, like, tough. Yeah. Agreed. So. Android 18 from Super, though, great. Loved her. Oh, she yeah. still 
Why is she still like kind of like I don't know, she's one of my she's one of my waifu and yeah, and, pl- and plus she, she's top tier mom. Uh, yeah, she she definitely win the mom and wife of Dragon, the year award. Dragon Ball yeah. Z also still. Yeah, she's still I mean, a great character. she developed. And remember uh, when uh, Krill was trying to wish her to be human, mm-hmm. and then when he he wanted to like help her and her boyfriend, he's like, ew, no, he's my seventeen's my brother, you idiot. Yeah. It was cute. And when they had a baby, first of all, the baby thing kind of threw me off. A I, 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 I don't know how those parts the parts would still work. Oh but, god. Uh, I, I, no, I think it's just because you know, like even though. I would say, even though I think 16 was like a full, like, fully, fully android, basically he's full machine, I think 17 and 18 were still human by the time they became android, so it could be that they still have some, you know, like, genetics or DNA within them. I could be wrong, I'm no expert in machines or mechanics, but this is what's assumed. Let's just say it's plot. This is a... Oh, God. Android 19? Just, just put him bad. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Who, who improved in his design? His design is stupid. His character is stupid. He was it's, basically there from the beginning to beat so, up. So, and, and so he's one of the bad. I feel bad for Todd Capricorn for voicing him <laughs> and Kai. It just, and, he's so annoying. Oh, well, yeah, this guy. We, we, we were just he? talking about him, weren't we? And Laza? Oh, the big yeah. guy. He yeah, I mean, he's I'm average. He's average. average. He, was there, he was there mostly just for a fight. Yeah, but, and plus he was interesting. It, it was a tech on tight reference like you mentioned earlier. <laughs> hmm. Titans are in, and also, and also the way <laughs> his, and the way his uh, like full, um, was it visage? The way he looked, it did remind me of another antagonist that the others faced off again. Apparently, but some I forgot his name, but he I, I forgot to like was he, was he from Dragon Ball Ranger Blast Two? Wasn't it? I don't, I, I, I don't recall, but he was facing, but he was the one that was creating like Comrade you know these Intellis, copies of Frieza, Turles, yeah, and the that, others. That, that guy. He reminds yeah, me of that one. Yeah, I, remember, I, I remember I saw the movie. Uh, hi, 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 guys, please li- leave in the comments. Tell us the name because we are idiots. Thank you. But yeah, for, for now he's I, average. I liked Bobby. I thought Bobby was a good character. It's, yeah, I mean, for, for, I mean, he for who he was and like what he like he literally pushed Boo to the brain like, to, to kill him. Yeah, I mean, I did fine. Yeah. Okay, so and also, oh, gee, here we go. We're going to the GT baby. era. Oh, so is it, is it, is it, is it baby? Yeah, like, super Vegeta, it, baby. Ba- baby Vegeta. No, baby I think, as a character. I think he's for. Uh, I think he's just called baby, but it's just that when he possesses, you know, like Vegeta, everyone's assuming, oh, it's baby Vegeta. But for now, let's just assume he's just called baby. Let's just. I see he's I, average. I actually, I would put him in good. I kind of liked. It. I was intrigued by his character a little bit. Yeah, that's true. I mean, his backstory with how. His uh, his creator, I forgot his name. Uh, uh, like Doctor, like uh, General Pilaf? Or, no, no, not no, no, Doctor. No, no, no. uh, doctor um, Wild. Some Doctor Wild or something like that. I have no idea. But basically, <laughs> the fact that he was built to try to kill Saiyans and such, that was interesting, you know. And he was annoying, but good, annoying. Cause he, but basically, his his backstory is like the same. He's doing the same to what the Saiyans did, did to him. So I think like if they bring him back, I think they should bring him back. Yeah. As, as like another antagonist, I think he was a good character. Yeah. He was like, oh, Launch. Launch. I love Launch. How could Toriyama forget her character? How can How? you not have a woman with multiple personalities? She has one as a cute, innocent one, and but when she sneezes, she changes into this badass woman. And who will she I, choose? I, I, of, all, of all people, I, I, I'm going to be really honest, guys. Of all people, I think Akira Toriyama would have forgotten. I thought he would forget Yamcha. Oh yeah, oh. Yamcha, he was not needed for plot, especially, especially even in the beginning as the Sand Saga, he should have... No. Forgotten. Okay, so, um, this is, oh we got two, they're separating the Bardock, so, so we have Dragon Ball Super Broly Bardock, and Dragon Ball Z Bardock. I said Super Bardock, he's... Uh, he was kind of... Uh, he was kind of... Uh, we, we kind of already know Bardock, and we don't really, like... I mean, he was... This, this version did, like, connect with me emotionally when he said goodbye to his son. So yeah. I did like that, but other than that, it's... He wasn't as impactful. There wasn't much of a change. I think it's just... We pretty much, like, knew at the... Uh, yeah. Pretty much knew yeah. the origins of how he knew his son Goku and how so he had yeah. to... Yeah. That's kind of average. Yeah. But the Dragon Ball Z oh, that version, that gift, though, he has to be great. He, he was great. Was a, he was absolutely great. Uh, he was he a was god tier little for me, but... I'd the Bardock special kind of ruined it. Yeah. Uh, going, him going Super Saiyan kind of ruined it for me. Yeah, I'm but, st- to be honest. but still, the fact that he was willing to face Frieza, even if he knew he was he was going to die, he still fought. And in, in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, they brought him back, and that was cool. <laughs> that was I, cool. I, I, I like that. As like the mask saying it, that was um, okay. mm-hmm. Yeah, one, no, one of the... Yeah, sorry, and also, yeah, no worries. And also because, yeah, as, as to, like, to add on, he, um, during mm-hmm. the invasion or the raid of one planet where Bardock and his friends were... I forgot the name of the... 
of the people that lived there, but basically one of them gave the powers of basically foresight to Bardock so he can see his own demise. Yeah. But and he because saw of Goku. that... He saw his own son beat Frieza and he could die proud because his son in the future would defeat Frieza, something he couldn't do, and I like so that. So one of the uh, trio of the dogs. Yeah, dogs. Okay, for Bad, stupid. Yeah, just, let's move on. Beerus? Beerus, I love Beerus as a character. He is great. I love how his design, his personality, is. he's basically Anubis. He's a god destruction, and you don't. And I love how he just he loves food so much. And he's so he he's will just, destroy he has, the planet. He has so like so many funny moments in the yeah. series. I love. And it. if you get in the way of his food, like Boo being the dumbest, he is licking the pudding. If you make him mad even for food, he will destroy a planet yeah. or galaxy just for that. He's like, oh, what's this? Not nah, a good appetizer. All right, planet. Goodbye. Just a tablet so, figure. The uh, Universe Eleven God Destruction. Yeah. Eh. The clown. Average. Average. Didn't don't, really care don't, don't really He's care annoying. about him. The, Again, that the one. Dogs. Yeah, bad. Uh, Stupid. Bojack. And I would say. I would say for the for the the, old, the oh the elder brother. I think I believe. I would say he's. You think, you, you think he's average? I would say he's average because he um okay. I don't know, maybe it's just because I like uh, wolves and I think they're yeah. badass. But I think like, for him he's the elder brother and he uh, was honorable. during. He was so, he's sort of honorable. I would definitely say though it's just. When the universe, uh, when all the universes like met and f found out about Goku challenging, you know, the gods, pretty much, yep. he pretty much used this advantage to pretty much say, "Hey, universes, we should destroy Universe Seven first, and then maybe the rest of the planets can be at peace." So I would say he's a kind of a dick move, but still, it was a kind of a dick move, but he was just clever enough to use that opportunity. Yeah. So I would definitely say he's average. Okay. I agree. Bojack. Bojack. Eh, nah, I don't. He, he had again he, another one potential, but. Average. Oh, average? Okay. I was going to go with bad because, you know... Any bad? Yeah, I mean, because he didn't have character. He just wanted to kill stuff, you know? That's true. So, and, yeah, and, he's... and plus, he kind of was addicted to his own people. He even used one of them to try to get a cheap shot on Gohan, so... Uh, Badass? I don't know. The Pudding Man. Uh, Mr. Mr. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> eh, give him average. I, he's... Oof. Who approved of this? I don't... He's a bad character. Yeah. Just... Why would the, like, Toei or Kira Toriyama approve of Winnie the Pooh? Stop it. To be fair, they did have Pepsi Man earlier, so... Um, oh, wait, they did, Bo didn't they? Bola. Uh, I thought she was average. She, See, she didn't do that much, but still... Yeah, but yeah, definitely the manga, she knows, like, a little bit more. Yeah, plus, the the, the scene of her and Vegeta going shopping, that was, that was actually that was really great. funny. Mm. Oh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Give, God, give this he, man God to you. He is... God tier. I loved this okay, character. Okay, in the movie. Let's first talk about the problem with you know Super uh, uh, the arena of Dragon Ball Z Broly. Weeks Dragon, backstory. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z Broly is like he's too dumb in the brains almost. He just wants to fight. And he's yeah, kind of timid. And he hated Goku for crying. Just, and for and for that, like since we're since we're here, he, he's right there. So let's go. He's average for that yeah, in the Dragon Ball Z version. But this would be Dragon Ball Super Super Saiyan. Broly. Give him He is like again God like tier. the same character though. I don't know why yeah. he did that, but and again, plus, God they tier. gave mm -hmm. him more character. Like he his backstory I actually teared up a little when I heard that he carried the ear of his only friend. Like mm -hmm. and now he's I was surprised that that was an ear. Like oh it's like no it's like it's not like a, it's so it's like oh it's only a piece of something, not like a full on like uh, like kilt or a hide of a creature. I, I thought for saying yeah, it was just like a hide or something like that. Like yeah, just like a, like a pet. But yeah, man, that was that was such a backstory. Bubbles, I love bubbles. Go bubbles right away, right away. Uh, <laughs> give, give, give him bubbles a good. Is, bubbles is so like funny for who he was and made Goku stronger. And, uh, and remember when he <laughs> when Goku thought bubbles was King Kai yep. and he just followed him? That was hilarious. And he just like started making monkey noises. Like, yeah. Like, okay. It could be the monkey king. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, I think monkeys. that was a reference to that to Son Goku. You know. Uh, well, yeah, because uh, Son Goku by the name is just also. Oh, Reference to Song Wukong, who is the the Monkey King, yeah. who traveled with. Um, is it, is it, isn't it uh, kind of weird that they kind of took like something from a, a Chinese folklore and put it in Japan? Well, they've done. I think. Well, no. Here's some of the Chinese folklore has also been uh, been inspired in some enemies in Japan because you would probably see that not only in Dragon Ball Z, you would also see it in in Inuyasha. There was this one particular episode, oh, and yeah, then. That's true. I mean, there were also some other characters who inspired the uh, Song Goku just by the way they fight or the way they use the staff because it's the main weapon for yeah. Song Wukong, or for this case, Goku. So, so now we're at Bulma. So 
this is a, this is just Bulma as a whole. There's no other version of Bulma. Yeah, I say give her great. I like. Gold. I think she's good because ever yeah. since for, for who she is and like what what she's done, I mean, she kind of like she's kind of a player. It's like <laughs> someone from who, who did. Yamcha than Vegeta just because like, the guy was dead and he broke up with him because he was dead. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's kind really? of a uh, gold. Uh, no, no. Remember when Dragon Ball Z Bridge? The difference is when my when my girlfriend left, she took all my money. When yours left, she took all her money. Mm. Good a sense of being after that one. Yeah. Well, I would simply say what? ever since from Dragon Ball to now, pretty much Dragon Ball Super, we've seen some growth in Bulma. Uh, some growth in Bulma. And, uh, my bad. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, know, but yeah, I, yeah. and uh, let's not forget to mention she knows how to handle against a god of destruction. Oh yeah. <laughs> ever since he just basically declared, "I am the god of destruction. I can destroy planets." She, she argues care. with him, and she would find a way to m- appease him. Pretty appease much. him and make him an ally. Plus, in situations. she slapped him. Right. That was funny. Oh, that, right. That, 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 that did, like, give Vegeta enough to surpass Goku for that brief minute. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, so... Murder. I'm the fastest in the universe. Give him good. And, and, I you, and you care, and I don't give a shit, because you care, it makes no sense. Because how are you fast in the universe if Frieza is stronger than you? Yeah. And your captain is stronger than you? It was... Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 Union Force was entertaining, though. You can't... It, it was, Union Force is entertaining. It's just the way that they oh, brag off. It's yeah. like, okay, oh, yeah. you say that, well, but... Okay. That's, isn't that for every anime? Like, oh, I'm the fastest, I'm the strongest, I'm the smartest, then yeah. boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Super Boom, go. go, go, go. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> Bad. I, I, I honestly, I was not a fan of this one, nor was I a fan of the Gotenks one, because yeah. he, he basically just turns like a cell one. Yeah, he was kind of cock. And then when Super Boom, he was like, I've been, I've sensed your power from far away this whole time when you were training. I'm like... Uh, like, really? That's kind of bullshit. So, um, Kaba! So, I'd say he's... Kama is... He's pretty good. I yeah, thought he has, he's good. he has potential. You know, I'd say... I mean, I, I kind of like his like his style with uh, with him and Vegeta being, like, mastering students. Exactly. And then Vegeta was willing to use... If he won, he would use the wish to bring Universe 6 back. Yeah. I mean, screw every other universe, say Universe 6. But yeah, still, he was willing to save them. He would definitely... I think for Vegeta, he would definitely, like, do something to either give power or to bring back his people. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Pepsi so... Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man. It has to be God oh. tier. Pe- God tier. Come on. <laughs> he's, he he's changes like, colors. He's literally God. <laughs> Come on, guys. Guys, do you agree that Pepsi Man should be God tier? Just give him good. Give him good. I like him. He's just hilarious. Average. Fine. Yeah, let's keep it at that. Cause that was, uh, it, okay. He did have one funny moment. Like, uh, watch, Frieza, watch, watch this clip from uh, with, when, he, when he was with Frieza. Just watch that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. All right. Kefla. So now we're going to Khalifa. I liked her. She had potential. I, the problem is, though, with her is that Mary she has... No, 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 no. no. It, it, it's not that. She's not She's not a Mary Sue. She actually showed... I mean, technically, she, she does have a little bit of Mary Sue because, like, she's going all the way to Super Saiyan 2, like, in nobody's business. Like, like Kaba actually had time to reflect and actually work on Super Saiyan 2. I don't know. I think, it's like, for what she was given, she's kind of average. Yeah, I mean, it's but, better like, than... But, she's also good in a way, so... So, I think you were good. I'd say good, because yeah, she her, can grow, you know? Her, her potential was held back. By what by the writers hope for her. That, yeah. that was the problem. Hmm. But still, you know, now we, we have a female Super Saiyan. One of them, one of them is actually good. And you know, oh, hey, wait, 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 before that, you want to know the difference between Khalifa and Rey? Khalifa actually lost some fights while Rey has barely lost any. Oh god, no. Super, second Super Oh no, that's, that's No, horrible. no, no. I, that I, 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 I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Because Akira Toriyama wanted to end it there. Like, not god, be perfect no, for like, Thank no, god. No, it oh, they didn't, li- they didn't really like that. No, I was just uh, surprised to see his like evolution for Cell, but it's just... Yeah, but yeah. look at those fat lips. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, when you see a girl... <laughs> okay, no. That's all right, all right. So, Champa. Chompa's actually good. I mean, he, I find him hilarious with him and with him, him and Beerus. Because they're brothers, you know, they have to have that sibling rivalry. Uh, yeah, I, for, I, I always forget that, oh, they're actually brothers, okay. Um, Chile. I think she's great. I think, because she, she, you know, she was able to change Broly. She was nice. She's wifey material. You know, I like that. And plus, like, she used... I think it's just, you know, when I first watched the movie, I was a bit off guard because there were some scenes that, you know, that were, like, arousing. <laughs> Yeah, but like I would the, definitely... Like the, with, the, with the armor stretching all oh around her chest. I'm not... <laughs> oh, Moving only, on. Only, only anime guys. Let's just... Let's anime. Anime. Let's I would definitely say that she was uh, great to basically, as you said, like build up Broly and basically try to become friends with him. And because yeah. of that, it yeah. might... Like, so, yeah, she, she's definitely a good character. 
yeah. who she was. Uh, Chi Chi from Dragon Ball Z early uh, on. Just, uh, or, no, this is actually Chi Chi like, as a whole. Oh. Like, yeah, they only have like, a few like different characters. Okay, look, okay, okay. Let's. Alright, I'm gonna defend Chi Chi right here, okay? She, I takes, she takes care of a bum of a husband. Yes. She does, and she's. And, and look, yes, she's yelly, but, you know, be understandable. Like, you know, her husband is, you know, a hobo, and. And, you know, she's trying to take care... And he died. He, she didn't go on one single day since he died in the seven years that he was away. Mm -hmm. Did not. So that's dedication. So I say she's average. I think, oh, I think good? she's more good. Cause yeah, Because like, she, she raised Gohan. She knows... She, she's, a, she's a capable fighter back back in the day. Oh, yeah. I, she, I, I wish she still did. Yeah, all but... But she, she has, she like, great... She had great moments. She takes care of... That, like I said, she, she takes care of a bum of a husband. And, but, and uh, she, she actually... Uh, she knows how to stand up to like a lot of people. Yeah, and let's okay. I'll be honest. Some of the moments between her and Goku, like during the Cell Saga, were actually pretty cute. Remember when he woke up? Like that was cute, you know. Mm -hmm. I just wish they didn't keep Goku as much of an idiot. I actually, did kind of grow him a little. I just so, that's me. Oh God, There were yeah, there were. Yeah, like, oh. I think. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Nick. I'm sorry. No, I'm just I'm just saying. Like yeah, it would be it would be nice if Goku like you know like learned. A little bit more stuff here and there to help yeah. with Bulma, but you know. But well, we know, we know, we all know that Goku is dumb with the brains. Yeah. Chaozu. <sighs> I don't know. He, what he, is he? What are you? I think I, he's uh, a I'm, human, but just you know, of a uh, with. Uh, let's put him back. Let's put him average. Average. Yeah. Frieza's great great grand Pepe. Oh, that's Lord, his grand 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 Pepe. Grand like Lord Lord. Chilled? Yeah, chilled, yeah. So, just making sure, so... For that episode of Barlock Special, he traveled back in time? Yeah, or? for some reason, like, the uh, the Frieza Blast, like, when he blasted him, it kind of sent him back in time for some reason. I don't yeah. know why, so that's... Honestly, he shouldn't happen, because that, that special almost ruined the uh, the Barlock character for me. Cooler, though. I love oh, yeah. Cooler. Hey, Frieza's cool, but Cooler is <laughs> Cooler. Because, like, his... <laughs> Like, cause like for what he was, he he want, like he wanted revenge. Like he it wasn't for like cause he doesn't like friends. He does he doesn't like his own family. But it's more like a respect thing. Like you you disrespected my family, so let's let's fight Goku. Mm -hmm. I just I love the form. I love his design. And uh, I I heard I hear this guy. The next uh, Dragon Ball movie and the and next part super might bring back Cooler. It might bring him back. Yeah. So like, let's let's hope. Let's hope. Um, just we. Pui, Pui, uh, Lord Pui. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's. Don't yeah. average. Average? Average? I, I was gonna bad. go with bad. bad. Yeah. Because <laughs> he just antagonized. Oh, uh, what, what was his, what's the demon guy's name? Deborah. <sighs> I'd say he was. Deborah, like, like, it was funny as all. As all. It was when, funny he was when, he was in, when he was in heaven. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I was. I mean, it kind of ruined my average. image. I would say he's average because he. I mean, yes, he. When he fought against. Uh, Gohan, and you know, and then fight off against Majin Buu. It basically, going to show that he's still powerful in the way, does, yeah. but still not there. But yeah, you know, he's a good character. Dende, story-wise, he was good, but I don't know. Uh, probably average. Uh -huh, yeah, average. Devil Man from a uh, Dragon Ball. Who recommended this, this... Devil Man? I don't know, but that was that was a mistake. I mean, I... if you're talking about Devil Man from the anime Devil Man, then I'd definitely put him higher, but no. No, yeah, like Devil Man Cry, maybe, like, watch, watch it your own legion, guys. What, that one will mess you up. Just watch yeah. it your own risk. Yeah, watch it with warning. <laughs> um, what, did Doria? Did Dor eh. Doria? He was average. Yeah, he was, he was he, just... He, I didn't really care for him. Dr. Jero, again, kind of average. We, he had so much potential wasted. Well, he, yeah. And who's the next Dr. one? Dr... Uh, Dr. Dr. Pig? Dr. Warthog. Well, let's, let's call it, I can't think of his name right now, but he was actually like, we, d we don't know his his uh, his potential from the tournament of power. Yeah, so let's just say he's... I say he's bad. I don't uh, know. I, I still I don't like his character at all. <laughs> so who's that one right there? This is, I think this is the one from... Uh, Yakon, or...? It's it's the one from the second Dragon Ball movie, The uh, World's Strongest. I don't yeah, know. Like, uh, I've never watched it. I don't know. It's, it's just, it was I say he's a mistake. Oh. Yeah. Bugs Bunny. Bispo. Oh. Bad. Average. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's just... The reason why is just... You... His movesets. His... <laughs> Ultra-fast... Uh, no, it's hypersonic light speed mode. <laughs> and this... it's, it's, it's shit like that, that that the writing for Dragon Ball Super was horrible. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. 
Mm. Um, Frost Shenron, is that it? Yeah. Ice Shenron. Bad. Yeah. I, I, I hated a lot of the characters. Yeah. Well, because he was the opposite of Nova. Nova was, uh, like, honorable, and, you know, he wanted to have a good fight. But as for Ice, he would do what is necessary to, he like... He even blinded Goku. Yeah, he will do what he can to basically win the fight, even mm-hmm. if it means cheating. Yep. So he wouldn't back... He doesn't hesitate to backstab. Oh, my God, skinny Black, Goku. Black Boo. Black Boo. <laughs> oh. Not being racist here, I just... Look at that. Just look at the character. I would say Dark Boo because he's pretty much the evil yeah. version of Majin Boo when he popped out. He was, or Oob. He, he was a bad character. Oob, yeah, Oob was the good guy. Come I on. know, I know. And I'm saying reverse Boo. Um, this is the girl that... Uh, that's a, oh, no, no, that's Jin. No Jin. It's Jin. Uh, Jin? I think yeah, that's like, Goku's uh, mom. Is it? No, no. Gine is, no. is officially Goku's mom. But this is the one that people think that Bardock knocked up for Goku. But Eh, she's at. Eh. Yeah, we, we don't really know much about her. She's kind of average. I mean, she, like, I like her design. Don't get me wrong, her she has a great personality and good design, but uh, you, just, you can't, just can't connect with that. Yeah, I mean when we when we she were intru- yeah, I mean when we were introduced to Bardock as, and his team, we only a bit in, bit Bits we only knew a bit about Bardock, but never about all of his team members. Yeah, Majin Buu, he was he's great. I love his character. The yeah. way he the way they presented him when he resurrected, pretty much, or was like awakened by. Bibbidi, no, not Bibbidi, by Bobbidi. Well, tell me, tell me you're right. The, the original Majin Buu was written by, by, Bibbidi. by Bibbidi, actually. Uh, his, uh... Father. Yeah, it was the father, then the son no, that brought no, no, back. No, it, it was, it was actually, that was, that was a mistranslation, guys. Bibbidi's actually, uh, the original Bobbidi's a clone. Oh. So that was it was it was it was, it was, a, mis, it was a mistranslation there. Yeah, yeah but man, I'm telling you. I just liked it the way they introduced it to like Majin Buu because he looked very serious, and then he at the first moment he pranked or tried to scare uh, Bobbity, yeah. and that disappointed him. And he so when he it gave off a good vibe. It was like, oh, so he's a comedic character. Yeah. But then when he showed off his powers and started eating people and by turning them into candy, it was like, okay, so he's funny, but he can be very very. So, so it's basically, mind. basically in the words of a war machine from Endgame, so he's an idiot. Yeah. Is an idiot with terrifying powers? Yeah. Uh, Frieza, Frieza. God tier yeah. character. Oh, yeah. This is me as like I'm a Frieza fan, guys. I'll be completely. Honest. I am a Frieza fan. No, really? he is a Frieza fan. I mean, I, uh, I love his character so much in Dragon Ball Z. Not so much in GT because like GT was Barely. horrible. Uh, but Super, though, when they brought him back for Dragon Ball Super and, uh, and also the Terminator Power, the way they did his character was funny, but still kept his true to, his, to himself. So yeah, Frieza is amazing. It's a god-tier character. I mean, I admit, ever since they brought him back, I was like, oh wow, I'm I'm starting to like Frieza, besides exactly. being the antagonist. Right. right. Okay, so Frost. Frost. Eh, he's a Frieza he's, wannabe. He he is a Frieza wannabe, but he's also kind of average. I like I like the fact that he was like a he kind of pretended to be good a little bit. But it was just it was an act. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's kind of average. Fuse Zamasu. Mm. I'm gonna be completely honest, guys. When I heard mm. when I saw this, I did not like it. He got turned off. I agree. I basically didn't see any point of that, but because as. You know, as Zamasu keeps saying, I am a god, I am a god. It's someone who's trying to be a god and, you know, rebuild the world, yeah. but, you know. It's just, so he's, he's he's a bad character. Yeah. He's, he, it, I, I, I like the cool, like, look of the, the, his key, his power. Mm-hmm. But he just... But, he like, was, not to mention, like, he, you ha- you're fusing yourself with, with, like, with, a, with yourself, who's in Goku's body. Shouldn't you have yeah, like more mixed. mixed voices than just yourself being yeah, echoed? Yeah, that's just that was lazy that's writing. Crazy. Oh, Future, Future Gohan. Gohan. Great. Yes. Yeah. Great character. Dude, the Trunks movie just, that's one of the best Dragon Ball movies because that's just, that's a heartbreaking movie. It was. That was, it was emotional. It was great. I really wish we could have gotten more of him. Yeah. Like, that, that's, that's, that's what keeps it, that's what holds him back from God tier yeah. character. Uh, Trunks, though. Wait, he, is that Super Trunks or is that It's Trunks? Uh, Trunks as a whole, right? Because, yeah, there's like only a, yeah, it, there's only a few Trunks. Well, I mean, there's, well, there's, there's, there's Kid Trunks. There's Kid Trunks, oh, but yeah. it's like, that's his own character. This is like Future Trunks and Team Trunks. Yeah, that's he is. I will say this: he's a god character. He yeah, he has potential. He, he had has the most so development. Much good, like yeah, development for both Z and the Goku Black arc. But yeah. we'll, we'll see if we we'll get any more of him. Mm-hmm. Plus, even Vegeta's proud of him. Vegeta's really bird, proud. Bird guy from a. Uh, oh, I forgot Battle. that was the bird guy. Eh, bad. bad. He was pretty bad. I mean, he looked badass when he was a fighting bird, but you know, yeah. Yeah, but then he cheated with Master Roshi. Okay, 
Um, garlic. Like garlic Jr. No, no, no. He's gone. No. What do you think, though? Is he, was he that bad, or is he like... He's that just, bad. He, or was he, was he a mistake? He's, I would say he was bad. No, he's a mistake. <laughs> I say he's a mistake. Want to rock, paper, scissors for it, then? <laughs> okay. All right, we're going uh, there. Babe. Okay, we'll try again. One, One two, two, three. three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> right. Okay, so okay, he's bad. He, he, I have to admit, like, his filler arc was kind of cool, really? but the movie was stupid. The, uh, but yeah, like, but this is like, this is the filler, guys. The Garlic Jr. filler was unnecessary because it's filler and nobody cares, but yeah. the way they did it, it was, it was, it was intriguing, but yeah, his character alone is not General Blue from Dragon Ball, the I, OG. Honestly, I did not watch the original Dragon Ball that much, so I can't uh -huh. really give a preference. Well, he's, he was kind of cool, but he was kind of average. He was kind of held back a little bit from the Red Ribbon, in the Red Ribbon wait, Army. Wait, because didn't he want to just wish to be taller? Oh, no, wait, was that... No, that, 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 was, that, that was freezing, Dragon Ball broke. No, 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 <laughs> someone else. He, I don't know. Okay, just keep going. Yeah. All right, Ginyu. Captain Ginyu. <sighs> oh, I would say he's great, because not only he's a leader of the Ginyu Force, but it's just, you know... He's so he, dribble. He's, he's, I would say in, he's driven and, you know, he's always confident. Like, even if the situation looks bad, he yeah. tries to support, he's trying to motivate, give his, more, men. motivate his men. I, I would agree with that, guys, but my problem, though, like, what he was up there with me, but he's kind of good because of what Dragon Ball Super did to his character. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like, like, what was the point of having him in there? But, okay, well, then you have to realize this. He's the longest living a villain in all of Dragon Ball. That is true. Because even Frieza's died multiple Fre Frieza's times. Died multiple times. And yet yeah, Ginyu, you. ever since, okay, think about it, from the Frieza saga all the way to the Super Saga, he's been alive. Not in his original body, but still. Yeah, but what was disappointing though, he was still in the body of a frog, so there's no way he would either increase his power. Yeah. So ever so. since he came back in the Frieza movie, he's basically, oh, so you switch body with someone, you're already yeah. dead, because you have no growth and power as to what everyone so, else yeah, he, has done. That's why, that's why he's Good. He is a yeah. good character. It's just yeah. that super just ruined it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Super yes. Saiyan Blue Gogeta from Dragon Ball Super Broly. Yes. This has great. To be, this has to be great. Great character. I. I just love how they. So glad that they that they brought him back and how they they're able to they they kept him around for all of us. Super Saiyan Gogeta I see from he's good. Uh, from Fusion Reborn. I see he's good. I. I think so, yeah, because like we barely got to know him. He was, he's mostly made for fighting, technically. Yeah, but still, the still, still is like fine. Gogeta Blue, but like Gogeta Blue actually was more character, more had a little more character in the writing. No, so. I agree, but still, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Gohan. I, 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 okay, so much potential was wasted. I would say well, he's super. I say he's good. He was good. He was, yeah. I, I what do you think? I would say he's good because the thing is like okay so basically he trained to remove the sword basically on faster and stronger yes he had training with Elder Kai but you know it's like okay so you gave him this I don't know a temporary power just to fight against Majin Buu? It's more than yeah. unlocking all of his full potential at once I think. I, I yeah, it's I don't know. Confusing, but still. It's just the way I see Go uh, Gohan's growth like he had potential when he unlocked Super Saiyan 2. If, I mean, if he kept training while, like, you know, if he had spare time after studying yeah. in school, he would be stronger and probably doesn't need Super Saiyan 2, but, yeah. you know. But, yeah, but still, he, he's better than his Super counterpart, let's be honest. He's better than Super Gohan. Super Gohan, I You would, know, Dragon Ball Super I would definitely say, because for some reason, it made him cockier, because when he went up against Super Buu, it's like, oh, so you want to fight Majin Buu? No. Fight you? No, I'm, I'm going to kill you. you. <laughs> like, and that was cool. That was wow. great. <laughs> I love that. So... He has yeah, to be good. He's, he's definitely even, up even there. Though, even though, even though, was wasted, but yeah, I'm hoping that they see they the error, the error of the ways. And like, uh, although, like, they keep throwing in new characters like Kael and Khalifa and like Kefla and Kaba. Like, it's, they're starting to push Gohan to the rat and that's to the sidelines. And that's horrible. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, Grandpa Gohan, Gohan, he has to be great. great. He, was, he found Gohan. He found Goku. Goku. He raised them. He, he, he was the one. He was one that start, started it all um, on that journey. And remember in the original Dragon Ball when he fought him in, in the tournament and when he removed his mask to reveal that he was there. I thought you Goku, didn't watch Dragon Ball. I watched clips. All right. Okay. <laughs> so when I saw that, I was like, "Oh my!" God. I'm actually I teared up because Goku he was like Grandpa Grandma. It's just like he was so happy to see him, mm -hmm. even if it was for a day. That mm -hmm. was genuinely beautiful. Goku Black. Oh man. Okay. When he was revealed, he had he was like 
the wow. Reveal, the reveal, the reveal, like his uh, of himself as the villain, that was great. But his reveal, like the ultimate reveal of him being Zamasu, that was the turn off. Yeah. yeah. So like uh, he, I still think he's for who he is as a character. He is still a great. He's still a great character. Yeah, it's just, it's just that part. It's just that part just kind of ruined it a little bit because he was up there and like he was up there like with Frieza level, like notoriety for my favorite villains of of, Anna, of Dragon Ball. But that reveal and the fusing to fuse Zamasu just it, it was a turn off. Yeah, like the few moments when Zamasu was like you know revealing his master plans and then presenting Goku Black. It's just like okay, so you're yourself from another universe. So you travel back through time, you switch bodies. Okay, so you're pre pretty much pulling off a Captain Ginyu right here. Okay. You, pretty, you pretty much are, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just checking to make sure things are going, working uh, perfectly. Nick, do you, want, do you want to move in a little close, Nick, so they can like, see you or not? Am I close enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just move the camera just a slight bit. No, just right. probably oh. turn that. Oh, okay. Alright. So, so next. Super Saiyan 4 Goku. 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 Okay. I admit, his design was... I liked it. I actually I think he, liked it. It, it is good. It's just yeah, not to mention yeah, he for for Dragon Ball GT, this is one of the good moments. Yeah. I, this is one of the good moments for it. So yeah, he's a definitely a good character. Oh yeah. Mm. Dragon Super Saiyan God. No, yeah. it's actually just Goku as a whole. Really? I thought, yeah, because yeah. there's no other uh, Goku here. You want to from average? He's uh, Goku as a whole, I would say, you know... He's good. good. Just, yeah. just that he, he's had no development. He's had no Real development. development. I mean, mm. yeah, yeah, that's like, true. Because Dragon Ball Super just made him, like, dumb as a dumb as a doorknob. Yeah. And until, like, when he got his, like, got his butt handed to him by Jiren in Terminator Power, I'm sure, like, Dragon Ball Super like, went, like, you know what? Let's make Goku smart again. Let's make Goku a smart fighter again. <laughs> It better. Well, so he was always a smart fighter. He just yeah. All right. Oh, blue, blue hair launch. Oh, God, she's such a sweet. She was yeah, such she, a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. I, I, I don't know why we didn't put her up there with the, uh, with the blonde form, but yeah, she's a she's definitely a good character. Uh, Goten uh, from Super and Z. Uh, he's bad. Oh, he's, really? He's pretty bad. He's yeah. annoying. Annoying. Well, he's now. a kid, and kids by that time are energetic and a bit annoying. But no, you know. no, it's, it's, I, I get that. It's just. The amounts they have not aged at all. It's that, in oh. Z to super. They have not aged at all. A day, a day at all. Really? Yeah, that is actually very suspicious. Okay, then GG though. Go to go ten was actually. I think he's average. I think he is. He is pretty average for for his being in the story like that. Yeah, he's definitely average. Go tanks. Go tanks though. He is. He was. He does. He does annoy me, but he's also like, he's fun to watch. So he is kind of a good character. I mean, yeah, you well, pretty much you have a fusion of two kids who become even a cockier kid, and who thinks he can take on, you know, like anyone so, that gets in his so way. Basically, yeah. kids nowadays. Just, I would like, say like kids who are going into their early teens, but with the help of Piccolo being like the mentor there, it's like okay, now I know my best career. Yeah. Okay. So this guy. This um, is a master. Uh, something. He was. Uh, um, he's master Sorat. As he's average. He's average. He's pretty forgettable. I mean, I think he was there to introduce um, pretty much not only Zamasu, but also possibly the other universes yeah, that exist out there. That is true. Grand Priest. Yeah, I don't know. I he, find I find he, him suspicious, though. He is suspicious. That's why I put him in the bag. You don't know. You, you bend the rules so much in the Terminal Power. That's, like, Jiren, like, Jiren is, like, literally, like, hovering up there when he jumped out. Like, like dude, that's, that's flying. That is literally flying. Yeah. yeah. Great Sam. Well, I guess he made that excuse because he is also like, you know, like floating right there. It's like, now we'll have the tournament power beginning. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's very good, isn't it, my lord? I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, Sam. This is actually a... Uh, I, think, I think they're mixing in Team Gohan with... Uh, no, no, these, uh, Team Gohan's right there. Oh, right there? No, that's just the great Saiyan man right no, there. No, no, King Gohan's right there. I know what I'm saying right now. Oh, oh this is probably this is probably like uh, this is probably Gohan after the Cell Saga. Uh, yeah, that's him as Saiyan man. I so admit though, it was kind of it was kind of funny. I, it was entertaining. It's but, entertaining. But the joke kind of wore wow. its wore. So wore. yeah, we'll put so it's around. inspiration. So it's, funny, it's, it's I would say for that it's an inspiration mm -hmm. of the Ginyu Force because that's where he got that it's, from. No, it's like, PTSD as well as. Um, as well as pretty much a par 
Well, Super Sentai, but I was saying a parody for Kamen Rider. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, Gregor? Gregor. Gregory. The Cricket. Eh. Kind of average. He, he was just meant there for Goku. Yeah. Eh. Gugo. Exact same way. Average. Time freeze! <gasps> And like he's, it's, it's, like it he's actually taking, looks are you, are you like he's taking, taking a dump or something. Yeah, I mean, um, if you're gonna, if he's going off against Dio, we already know who's gonna win. <laughs> oh yeah, the Dragon Ball Z bridge rolled. Roll oh, which one? No, in Dragon Ball Z bridge, they actually made that joke. Oh, they they did, yeah. oh yeah, they did. They did. Well, go on. Do you realize what his power? The control trying to summon steamrollers. Steam <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the dragon movie. Eh, he didn't really have that much. He was pretty much like a giant kaiju. Yeah, so, so eh, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just super good. Oh, hit. Hit. Guys, although that is a great character. I would say he's a great character, especially being voiced by Matthew Mercer. Oh, yeah. Yes. And plus, he's so honorable. He even let Universe 7 win, you know, because he did. He hated the rules, you know, and Goku just... He gave up, so he was like, you know what? He's an assassin, but with honor. He is. I Imperfect Cell, the first oh, form. Oh, God. When so he was introduced. good. I loved his introduction. So you mean great, <laughs> because that's what you're putting in. He, I know, He I sucked know. up so many people. He is, that's something out of a horror film. Oh, yeah. The way, like... The way that his, his design was, his character, his voice. I mean, the way you look at it, it does have a bit of resemblance to Alien. A, a little that bit, is yeah. true. Definitely, yeah. like, he has, Especially, like, Alien and also, like, a little bit of Frieza. Yeah. A lo like, a little bit of, like, that style of him. Yeah. I think, no, I think it's just, like, Cell is just a good antagonist. Because, you know, every I was saying that maybe everyone out there loves uh, Frieza a lot. But, you know, ever since, you know, his his death, everyone's mm -hmm. like, oh, great, and we're not going to have a great antagonist now. When Cell came up, is everyone's like, "Oh wow, we're wow, we have a new one in the league. This is good." Yeah. Um, Jocko, Jocko's funny. He, he's, he's kind of average. Uh, yeah, That's I would say he's average. But he's but it's so just, funny though. I know he is he's funny. He's the being you, Jocko. I think it's just his cameo appearances in some episodes just to give us some laughs yeah. during. Yeah, you know. no, I, I agree. No, but he's a good fighter actually. If you see him, he actually does a little bit of fighting. Yeah. He has good. He has good potential. Janemba. Oh god. So, like, Janemba, great, Janemba. No, 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 great no, no, this great design. Power wasted dangerous. potential. So yeah, he has to go he has to go into average. Unless they bring yeah. him back in uh, super, you know, maybe who knows? Maybe, who knows? I mean here's the thing. From, from the way Janemba was presented, it, yeah, like he has a great power and you know like fighting style, but you know, he he seems like a wild savage, but every, when he was in that like stout, puffy form, he's like uh, 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 he's like a goof. And then when he matured to this like demonic super form, he, was, he still is like a wild savage, but just can fight good. Yeah, yeah. he um, didn't really, didn't really talk yeah. that much at all. So. Yeah, he was just only cackling. He's like, <laughs> check it out, it's the Red Comet, Jace. <laughs> Jace, the space Australian. Uh, it's from space Australia, mate. Is that even a thing? <laughs> He's average. <laughs> yeah. He's average. Oh, uh, Kami. Ka I was going to say put him next to Birder, but sure. Kami. Hey, let's, let's do that. We can put him next to Birder. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The, red, the blue hurricane. They're the dynamic <laughs> duo in the Dragon Ball. The chase. The purple... Co Wait, what was their... Attack? Purple comic cross. <laughs> oh, right. They're... <laughs> oh, dynamic having, duo of Dragon Ball Z. We're having too much fun with this, and you, I hope you can All tell right. that. So, Kami. I think Kami's a good hero. Yeah, because... He had development, and then he was willing to let himself be absorbed by Piccolo. He didn't even let him at first. He was like, because, you know... It was more... Well, no, it's not absorbing. For this one, it's it's fusion, but it's just more of a, the way the Namekians do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's just that they, they, their consciousness uh, are merged into one, basically. Yeah. All right, so now we get to the one that people are on the rage about. Kefla. The Bataro uh, fusion of Khalifa and King. Uh, I don't. I really. I seriously got I, nothing to say. She's I, like, but eh? she's. Yeah, I was like, she, I what? She, no, actually, I think is she bad? Do you think she's bad or she's? I don't average? know. I, I would say she's confusing because she's you very know. Confusing. Yeah, we'll put her on average. Okay. Maybe it's just a show like a super version of Brawly, but you know, like yeah. if they're with the uh, Kalifa's yeah. brains. Okay. How about uh, what, what's his name? Oh, Kibito. Yeah, I, he's fine. He's average as well. Kid Boo. Kid Boo. Boy. He's a um, wild motherfucker. He is, actually. I'm gonna be honest. I was not the biggest fan of Kid Boo. 
Yeah. I think Kid Boo is like he's a good antagonist, but for like he's being pure evil. But we've seen that already. Mm. We've seen that with Frieza. Dragon Ball OG Goku. Uh, oh, great, great character. I would say he's great because yeah, even though he's you know not as smart as he is as an adult, he's still funny in his own yeah. way. Yeah, plus he and had a lot of like serious moments like when Krillin died you know for the first time mm-hmm. he was like he wanted to kill that demon and he killed the demon who actually killed him mm-hmm. so you know yeah so yeah like, but yeah Kid Trunks though we, we kind of touched on this but like yeah and I'm sorry for well, actually I'm sorry for the improvement but I definitely like it when he's finally discovering what a girl is he's like oh what's this <laughs> oh. oh I'm so sorry but it's just I find that no, hilarious remember when he did that Chi just pushed him out like eh, perfect yeah. yeah it's like so, oh so you're not a boy no I can tell ah. but that, but now, but does this we know this? Fusions kind of go together, so go, so Kid Trunks goes right there with Goats in the bad area. Yeah, I mean, annoying as all hell. He's too cocky. That's why I like Future Trunks way more because at least Future Trunks developed in. But, like, but I was saying as kids, like Trunks is definitely the smartest one because even though Goten may not know a situation, Trunks has like some ideas. They're not always fantastic or perfect, but you know, it's like okay, I know what we can do. This is probably what we can pull through. Yeah. Um, um, King Cold, Cold. Cooler, and, uh, and Frieza's father. Yeah, bad. I would say he's good. Really? Just, you know, like, if they main, uh, spend like, more time. They wasted so much potential. They, they, was like, he, he was in, like, one episode in the, and, like, the dry, like a cameo in the Dragon Ball Super yeah. Broly movie. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, really just, don't care for him. I don't know. It's, he's, he's pretty average. Uh, yeah. Average, but, you know, could have oh, been better. King, King Kai. Kai. Yes. Great. Great. <laughs> and the fact that he's voiced by Sean Schmell, you know, voice of Goku in the dub, it's hilarious. No, it's just funny to see him. Well, yeah, if he's you think about his time, yeah, he's yelling at himself. Which is, which is a lot. Which is a lot of times anime people do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mostly depending on the voice. Oh, yeah. and Piccolo. This was a big antagonist in the original. He was. He was the one that like. He was the beginning of what like the because uh, yeah a lot of Dragon Ball's arcs in the OG in the OG style weren't that good. Because, I mean, they're, they're getting their feet wet for it, but this arc was great because this kind of sets up for the Frieza arc in Z. So, yeah. Yeah, because he killed everyone. He killed so many characters that Goku met. Even in uh, Master Roshi, he killed, he got him killed. Oh, so. yeah, maybe it's just because I don't know much. But I'm just curious to ask how he became Demon King Piccolo when we obviously found out, like, oh, he's Namekian, but he's on Earth claiming to be Demon King. I think I think it's probably just because like they uh, they didn't know what they wanted to do with the alien. Well, yeah, but also it makes sense. Like, oh, like he's from oh in Earth. It's like oh he he must he's from another place. He must be a demon of some sort. It's like he might have taken that to advantage. So Maybe. it's nice to see how like you know this is also an introduction of not only to like a league of the antagonist Goku will fight against, but also of people like planets and other places out there. Right. Because not only just Frieza, but also Baby and you know any other travels that they had. Then we have. Vegeta's father, King Vegeta. King Vegeta. Mm. Average, because, you know, we only... Yeah, we, we only know him from uh, stories and all that flashbacks. Mm-hmm. Oh, Krillin. Krillin. Yeah, I see he's, he's great. He's, yeah, cause oh, he's the most normal of... You know, I know some readers in my fanfic that he's, when I introduced Krillin, they said, oh, okay, I'm not going to read the story because Krillin's in it. I'm like, what's wrong with Krillin? Because Krillin's the most human. Of the cat, well, yeah, because he's. You have Krillin, you have Yamcha, you okay, have Tien, no, all. No, yeah, Master no, Roshi, no, all of them expl- are human. Let me, let me explain. <laughs> he's the human that's been through the most with Goku. He's Goku's best friend. Yeah. He's seen all this crap. He's died <laughs> twice, you know? And I thought he died multiple times. I, he did actually. He did, he did die multiple times. Yeah, my, multiple times, yes. But still, he kept going, you know? Even and when he raised the family and when he knew they were going to be at risk, he still joined the tournament power, despite not training as much. Yeah. And when he and Goku actually had their sparring match in Super, that was emotional, because they were actually fighting, like, a real tournament. And even though Krillin wouldn't have won, they still had fun, you know? Yeah, yeah that's, they that's had... so good about that. And plus, he married 18. That's, oh, like, yeah. He's okay in my book. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, this Again, guy. Again, one of the doggies. No. Bad. Yeah, this guy was care. annoying. Just, poison, 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 poison. Like, really, dude, shut up. Oh, and then Lord uh, Slug. Eh, eh. That was a mistake. That that movie was horrible. Yeah. May older May. So oh. you get to see a Namekian, but supersized. Again. Yeah. Pig- Piccolo already did that in the original. So. Yeah, Piccolo did that. In but the this first time it's in a movie. And we Nick barely Nick. know them. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So May. My. My. From Dragon Ball Super. Sorry. Okay. Um, She's 
good for for who she is like, uh -huh. as a as a rebel leader. I think she. I think she's good. Yeah. Plus, you know, it was cute with her and was Trunks it? interacting. Yeah, I, it, it was kind of cool seeing her. I think it's good to confer that Trunks and Mai are gonna probably be have be together. Although, is it a weird kind of that in in the current timeline that May she's now shrunk and is the size of a child in Trunks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It, it's still a kid, yeah. That's just weird. I'm, uh, well, I mean, I think it made it fair because, you know, not to make it, you know, gross because, you know... It is kind of gross. Because, you know, the way... Uh, because when... Shoot, I forget the little the little one's name. The one who... That my and the Fox Ninja work for. Oh, uh, Pilaf. Emperor yeah, Pilaf. when Pilaf made the wish by mistake, oh, I wish that you were... Uh, oh, I oh, wish yeah, that I was, like, is. young Here's again. Right here. That's him right there. Yeah, it's like, oh, I want to be, oh, I wish I was, like, young again or something. Somehow he and the other two all shrunk into the size of children, pretty much reversing their age. Yeah, but they're still, yeah. she has a mentality. All right, let's just keep going. I'm sorry. Oh, we'll go. Like, uh, what, slime the... guy from a Turn of Power. Bad. Bad. Oh, Magica. Yeah, I was like, yeah. eh. <gasps> Majin Vegeta. God, give him God. Break. He's oh, a God-tier God character. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vegeta is that, always going to be a God-tier. That arc... That arc in Z, it really I me. cried like a bitch. Trunks, Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even for you, Kakarot. I did. I I was so emotional yeah. with that, especially yeah. when they reunited in, in the Fusion Reborn. God. Nah. What do you mean? I loved every minute. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Just stop. Stop. Don't go. Don't go, Vegeta. Yeah. I want to make a meme where you it's your head on Rose's body and then Vegeta's Jack. I mean, it was just, I think it was just confusing because, you know, during one of the fights, Vegeta was basically explaining to Kakarot why he accepted his death. Why he accepted Babidi's uh, power because, you know, he wants to prove that he is actually the strongest of the Saiyans again. Yeah. But even though they've been fighting together since Cell. Mm hmm. Yeah. So oh. Now we go to Majub. Majub. Uh, Majub but all, yeah, but Oob all together. Average, yeah, he didn't, he really do not really, he's not even in Super at all anymore, yeah. so. Oh, wait, Moh, 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 what's his name? Moh, I think? I don't know, it's... Yeah, he's dead. I just, I don't even know him. He uh, just doesn't exist, to be honest. Moro, he's the uh, recent villain, villain in the manga. I, I don't know. He is pure evil, he's like an evil god. And he's sorcery and not key. So he's like very well done. I, I really like his character right now. Mm. Oh. Well, I mean, it's I mean, it's nice to know because, but the majority, but you know, almost all the characters that we know, they would either use key or if they're an android, they would have like you know absorb energy or yeah, this if they're aliens, like, they would have other abilities. But he's to see, magic. yeah, but to see like you know like oh, so the writers are doing a new character, but uh, with a different way of presenting themselves and way of fighting. It's like okay, this should be interesting. What would they present? So it's like a good. Uh, it's a new like path that they're going to try along. Exactly. So it's a good, it's a good. Let's talk about Satan. Or kill Satan. I just hated that he takes all the credits. Yeah. yeah so like yeah. Even, no, he he doesn't he doesn't mean to, but you know like the paparazzi or like they the social do. media give him the credit. Yeah. Oh yeah, so they just give him the average <laughs> nail. Nail. Ooh. Hey guys, you want to know my favorite movies? The Nail Gun. <laughs> Shit, that's good. Yeah, okay, let's give him. Let's give him good. I, I think he's good, especially like he's he was also voiced by Sean Shemmel, so that, yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah, and the fact that he was willing to sacrifice himself. To Nappa. Kinda... Nappa. At average. E and, and this is like the Dragon Ball Z version. If, it, if he's like Dragon Ball Bridge version, he's like up there. He's great. Oh, he's that's gone. amazing. If he was the bridge, yeah, but, it, but yeah, for him, yeah, it's just we only get to know that he's. Fought with Vegeta for so long. He's and then, raised him, I think, in a way, because, you know, Vegeta was young and Nappa was old. If, in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, we oh, yeah, saw him. Yeah, he yeah. He actually had hair. <laughs> he when he had hair, yeah. <laughs> you know what's weird? In Xenoverse, he can go Super Saiyan. That is also true. And I'm not in which one? Xenoverse. Xenoverse. He actually is able to go Super Saiyan. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah. He just turns gold. So any, it's just a, but no, it's just funny if you think about it. He turns Super Saiyan, it's just one strand of fear. Boop! Or no, I think it's mustache. It's mustache. 
I know, but I'm just saying, like, oh, if his hair were to grow back as a wait, Super yeah. Saiyan, wait, it's just one strand. Wait, 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 now that I think about it, if they go Super Saiyan, does all the hair in their body go gold? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. You have to test that out once you go Super Saiyan. Nova Shenron. I think he's average. He is pretty average, because, like, once again, like, he's Dragon Ball GT's characters are, like, eh. The Broly version of the Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I don't know. He was... It was average. He was he was cool in Dragon Ball Z, uh, Broly, like the original movie, but then Broly's fan coming and Bio Broly. Just killed him. It was too much. Pretty like, much, I would say he's just a mindless, mindless Hulk. Like, <coughs> if, like, Hulk was able to stay in that, but, you know. Yeah. But it does the same thing. Hulk smash, and all he hears is like, Ah, Goku, Kakarot. <laughs> Just all the rage and Bubba just make it. We're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not bashing it because he's still, yeah. he's, like, Vic Mignogna is our Broly. He's our Broly. And I know, I know. I'm just heart, saying, hearts, like. Hearts go out to, like, yeah. him and recovering from what happened to him. Yeah, I know. It's just, I'm just saying, for this one, for the Dragon Ball Z, he's like, okay, so you you got a powerful warrior, but, you know, he's just all about Kakarot and just yeah, raging yeah. with still no other yeah. intentions no in battle. Oh, right. I definitely love the Broly yeah. movie, though. It oh, was. Yeah. I definitely say it was a good Super process. Broly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Omega okay. Shenron. Progress, sorry. He was, he was pretty good. Omega uh, Shenron. Uh, I have to say, what do you think? He, I think he was pretty he was good. good. I mean, he was evil as hell. I mean, the fact that he merged all seven uh, negative uh, Shadow Black Star Dragon Balls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was saying he's pretty good. You know, I. I, I mean, it's GT, but you know, it's just like if they did something a little bit better, maybe he could have been. Like, Plus, his yeah. design's pretty cool. I like his design. Oh Ooh. yeah. You're pretty much fighting against a two-legged dragon yeah. with the power of all the other dragons that he just absorbed yeah. mm-hmm. okay. right in front of you. Ulob. Ulob. Ulong. He's eh. looking for those panties. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't yeah. care for him. I don't care for him. Eh. Yeah, he's, he's, he was bad to average, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Pan? Bad. Yeah, bad. No, pan? No. Oh, GT pan? Oh, my God. No. No, no, Annoy- no, no. Put it there. Annoying as all hell. He should be, like, in the state. Um... Oh, uh, Bardock. 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 Uh, but not Bardock. Uh, I don't know him. Just well, yeah, Bardock's father in the movie. Father. He, I think he, I think Paragon. He, Paragon, yes. Mm. He was good for the for this version. He was definitely a lot better than the one from Dragon Ball Z. Mm. Yeah. Perfect Cell. Oh, yes, he has great, to be great. Great character. God. He was, just, but he would just break the fourth wall and it's like, no, you don't mean great. You mean perfect, Tia. <laughs> yes. Okay. One. And of course, in the abridged version, he's hilarious. Oh yeah, especially the Cell versus uh, mini Pic- series. Piccolo, oh. best father figure, best dad. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Um, Pycon. Pycon. Oh, I wish he was canon. He's, he's yeah. It's. I wish they could have built him up more, but yeah, you know. I think he's. Oh, I was gonna say he's good, but okay. I, 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 I just, I just don't know him. There's nothing. There's no story. There's no backstory. There's I would nothing say, for him. yeah, I would say he's between, like average and good. Like it's nice the way they presented him, yeah. but you know, more details. All right, peel off. Emperor peel off. Annoying. Annoying as all hell. Bad. Mr. Popo. Maggot, you better put me in. Great. <laughs> you maggot. Um. I think he's a maverage. Uh, I would say he's. Good because He's you know. Kind of good, kind of bad. We'll put him in good for now. I was, yeah, I was thinking he was good. You see, you know, like oh, like he's pretty much, he's one of the first few instructors to teach, uh, Goku besides right. Gohan and the cat. I forgot yeah. the cat's name. Um, oh, Corrin. Corrin. Oh, Corrin was great. Uh, bad. It's bad. Waste of potential right there. Yeah. And I, I, I'm giving a shout out to my. To my to, to my boy uh, Masako X, check out his channel. He has a "What If" Raditz story. If he "What If" Raditz turned good, mm. watch that story, guys. It is so good, and I'm so happy because he actually made the uh, he actually made Raditz the uh, boyfriend and then, then later husband to launch. That was a good that was a good choice, mm. and they had and they have their own kid. That would be that would have been so cool. Now I have to watch it or Fan read fiction. it. So yeah, but uh, in, the Z, in the Z storyline, they just wasted a lot of potential yeah. with them. Riku! Right. The name is Riku, and it rhymes with Doom, and I do not care. <laughs> and wait, who's that girl? Is it another... Uh, no, that's an, that's, that was another one of the maidens. <laughs> okay, no, bad, bad, no. Oh, uh, so, one of the happened. maidens. No. Shouldn't have happened. But you're going right there next, next to your, next to your big old leader there. Roshi's got here. 
Roshi is definitely God tier. He is. He is okay. First of all, he's funny, but instead of just being a pervert, he's a badass pervert. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I definitely see that. Especially when we saw the Terminator power. Like, oh man, that, that when he moment. almost died. No, so and I think it's just also showing like respect. Like um, in some movies or in animes, whenever there's a new teacher to the student, you always either see either the teacher just retired or you know they may have died horribly. But for Roshi, he's been with him since Dragon Ball, mm-hmm. and he was even to go against the Terminator power who. Not only against gods, but also other fighters that may be stronger but than Goku. Not, not to mention, in the Resurrection F movie, he was actually there to help fight against yeah. several of his men. And, okay, let's let's be honest. The Master muscular, Roshi, fair they win! His, his <laughs> muscular form is great. It was funny. Super 17. And, nah, I mean, should, should have happened. No, Trash. So you have two 17s that become a greater 17. A bigger so 17 wait, with longer hair? So shouldn't he be, like, 34? <laughs> oh, true. They, Seventeen they, they, times they, two, they, yeah. They, they should have, but you know. Eh, okay. Super boo. Super eh. boo. Eh. Kind of average for who he was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shien. Oh, th- this, Shien Kai. This guy is the most smug motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Give him bad. He was. He was pretty average. Yeah. Oh no, that guy. This guy. Should not have happened. Uh, should not have happened. Yeah. Was, should not have happened. He, okay, guys. Here's what here's what we found out from Resurrection F. Like he he was off in the first ten minutes. In Dragon Ball Super. He was he was free as a sparring partner to help him turn golden. But then he switched bodies with Captain Ginyu, and that didn't last like more than five seconds. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, he yeah, should not have happened. He should have happened. He's going. To, he's going in the garbage. At least the he. At least he was a good training partner for Frieza, who achieved golden form. Exactly. Yeah. Mercenary Chow. Oh, this guy kills over with his talk. He's he, going good. He's going good. Uh, well, he's not good, but like he's good at what he yeah, does. Yeah, he's good at what he does. Yeah, no. So I think it's just because he's also a good build up for Tien. Because when he came back in the tournament, uh, in the martial arts tournament, yeah, and he was against yeah. Tien as a cyborg, pretty much. He was trying. He was going to cheat. He was going to actually shoot him. He was going to try yeah. to cheat. He was also basically trying to like. Uh, to not bully, but basically trying to yeah insult. He was trying to insult Tien because he no longer follows his, bro- uh, his brother. Uh, his brother or like his teachings or whatever. Yeah, yeah to the, the teachings the of like school, I think, Crane yeah school. to the teachings of Crane School. So yeah. it was, oh. he was like a good like obstacle for Tien to push yeah. through. Oh, take on. Oh yes, I like him. He was good. Yeah, because ba- like- we got his backstory. He's pretty badass, and I wish that. And in Xenoverse, he came back. He yeah, did. he did. It was cool. But it was also just amazing to see, like, oh, here's, like, someone that, you know, Trunk, that inspired Trunks. And not only that, he gave him his own sword. But that's mm-hmm. kind of con- he, he gave him the sword. I know. That was great. I'm just saying, like, oh, it's a little inspiration, yeah. and yeah. I like that. It's just uh, nice. Vegeta's brother. T- T- shouldn't, shouldn't have happened. Yeah, yeah. Vegeta, Vegeta's not even a brother, okay? Oh, Super Saiyan 2 yeah. Yes. Yes. He's definitely great, but, uh, but once he... But since he became an adult, it was we're, we're a focusing waste of on this version. Yeah. Thank you, boy. I know. I'm just saying, Teen Gohan is great. But when he grew up as an adult, no, that was a waste agree, of power. I agree. Yeah. Tien Tien Shinhan. I think he was good. He was oh, he's good. one of the badass humans out there. I think. Yeah, I think. I think he's up there with the uh, Krillin. With yeah, with Krillin. Yeah. yeah. Put all these together. And not to mention, he had a face off against Cell by himself, and he kept like. He, even if he wasn't going to win, but he held him down. Yeah, mm-hmm. even though he kept using his tri-beam in the Kikoha, I think? Kikoho. Kikoho. Kiko-ho. He still kept pushing against him. Kiko. So, that's just a credit to that. Topo. Topo. Or top oh. in the dome. <laughs> I would definitely say he's a great character because... Uh, I think it's just because I respect the way it is. Because he's trying to show that justice is right, that everything will yeah. prevail. But, but ever since, you know, in some... <laughs> But here, guys, watch, 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 watch this clip. This, this, this clip is just so, just so, just so funny. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but st- just, he, it's just, just, the, just, the, just the way, the way he ran towards seventeen. Is like that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so. Stu- I, this guy just loves that clip. I, I just like feel like story. I just feel like that's supposed to be like a parody for All Might right there. But <laughs> I think all in all, um, I definitely like him because you know he believes in justice and all that. But yeah. ever since oh, yeah. like the change in the fight, he be, he says, "Oh, if justice won't prevail, then so will destruction." He's, so Tobo's great. He's he's a great character. Yeah, Jiren. I would. Okay, no, I'll definitely, I'll definitely Not say that. Like, happen. I'll definitely say that. Like, if Jiren was out of bounds, I definitely wouldn't mind if Goku were to fight against Topo oh, in yeah. that final round. So anyway, Turtles, bad character. 
do not should not have happened. Yeah, I'm still confused as why he looks like Goku. That is. And he's an uncle or something? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Vados. Vados. What do you say? Eh, I don't know. I'm good. Uh, especially like the especially her comments to uh, to to Lord Champa. I think yeah. I think that's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Super so, Saiyan Four. <laughs> Vegeta. Basically, you get that good. power through technology. Yeah, so, he's, yeah, it's eh. yeah, average. It's like it's nice to see that even Vegeta can get the form, but you know, it's just this is like it kind of cheated. Yeah, <laughs> temporary power up. Super Saiyan Blue he and Super Saiyan good. Evolved. G- God tier. Yeah, yes. definitely yeah. God tier. Super Saiyan Blue character. Vegeta. He is God. Or just Vegeta in general. Sorry, Goku. We're giving it to, to your rival. I mean, <laughs> he is the kid. prince of Saiyans. Well, technically or in this case, he's be, now the god of no, Saiyans. No, he should be the king now. The, technically, he's... Well, he's... No, right now he's god. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, wait, who's okay, next? I can't, uh, I can't see that. Oh, that's Vegito. They, 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 oh, they're, the they're, they're, using, they're using the scene uh, from uh, Fighters. Eh. Vegito is... A good... In- Introduction to like an alternate fusion, but yeah, you know. but he, it, mostly like he's he's just made for fighting again. Just it's just like Gogeta from Fusion Reborn. It's just made for fighting, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, Videl. Videl. Mm. I actually like Videl. I yeah, think she's, she's, good. Yeah, she's a good. A good character. I mean, she was she was a bit of like annoying when the way they introduced her and Gohan yeah, because and you know she was sort of like a you, punk. You want to know something? Okay, so what I don't get is when they were having lunch and Chi Chi asked if. You know, Videl and, and Gohan were gonna get married. Gohan, of course, he reacted. Videl, she was just like, "Go yeah. on." I was like, "That's kind of." It was. Yeah, off I, to I, me. Think, I, it, I think it's, it's just, just she's. By, I think to me is like it's kind of like it's kind of like poking fun and like made him feel nervous. I, I think so, and I think I it's just know. because you know Videl is a very tough girl so, or a tough woman, so she would definitely try not to show any embarrassment. And she would probably be like, "Okay." What you gotta say to that? Oh, yes. oh this man. This, this man. He don't forget he's the teacher to the god of destruction. The so how much power does he have? That's true. So yeah, he and also his interactions are great. Yeah, yeah. He has really interactions. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is his last one. Oh, oh my my. Yajirobe, Yajirobe. the OG fatty. <laughs> Great. <laughs> He's still hilarious. He day. cut Vegeta's tail. Yeah, I was going to say that. Katana. Well, first he was like shouting from this. He's like, hey! Psh, hiding. And then, It's all yours. It's all yours, guys. Oh, man. He's like, I'm there for a one-shot cameo. Let's Gotta go. go. Let, let's be honest. His mustache in uh, the later series. Nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. right. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. All the fans are going are gonna to be so salty. Yamcha. 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 Bad character. No kidding. Oh, no, why? <laughs> I would put him good. No. He just didn't develop them. I mean, he developed pretty okay in he the original. Poorly. He develops like he's he's money spending ways. He's not a good fighter. He's 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 he's, he's been put off the back burner like every single time. Like they they even made fun of that in the mm. Resurrection F movie. Like. Like when Tien came to the fight, like I didn't bring Tien or Yamcha. This this fight is too hard for those guys, for those guys. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay, Zamasu. Zamasu. Eh. Average. Eh, yeah. Er. Nobody cares about your stupid plan, dude. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Zarbon. Zarbon. He has to be got here because he's. So, so, no, I'm just kidding. So, pretty uh, much. Zarbon, yeah. Pretty much an uh, pretty much an icon of a Disney character in Dragon Ball Z. Most Beauty likely. and the Beast. And finally. Zoranzano. You guys he's are, annoying. are annoying, and you bend the rules so much, you're a bad character. I don't know how he's a god, even though he behaves like a child. We pretty much did a lot, all, all we need to do. We uh, we got a list ready to go. Yeah. I'll post a picture on, of it online, uh, there, uh, probably at the end of the channel. So anyways, guys, we are going to go see Rise of Skywalker later today. And, and it's going to bomb, or it's going to be hopefully okay? Hopefully, it's... I'm just, it maybe we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, we're just kind of hoping for a satisfying end. That's all we want. But here's the thing: if it, that doesn't go well, just continue watching Mandalorian for sure. Yeah. Oh, Mandal- yeah Mandal- well, this guy has to catch Mandalorian. So, oh, wait, I, I I caught up. I caught up. <laughs> you know. So, anyways, Jeez. guys, thank you all so much for watching. And again, thanks for uh, sticking by with us for going, doing a lot, all this uh, these tier lists. It seems to be like a fun thing for us to do. So we'll probably do another one later. Uh, down the road if we can. We'll see what we do. Remember to smash the like button in the face like the badass as you are. And don't forget to subscribe and join us here in the shadows. 
I'm the Dark Viewer, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Oh,